Guys, you are watching the best movie recaps now. Please subscribe this channel and you will not miss any good stories in the future. This story totally has four episodes and this is just the third one. The story of the third episode took place in Hong Kong in 1959, where Yeowen continues to teach Yong Chun Kung Fu. Bruce Lee has grown up and comes back to learn Kung Fu from Yeowen. Yeowen asked Bruce Lee to pass the test before accepting him as his apprentice, but Bruce Lee failed. Yeowen's youngest son Yejing and another kid named Zhang Feng were fighting in the street. It turned out that Zhang Feng's father was also Master Yong Chun. Later, Yeowen took the child home to have dinner together, and the two children became good friends. Zhang Feng's father, Master Zhang, was a coachman and participated in underground boxing matches at night. The man in red is called Shang, who is responsible for managing the boxing match, while boxing champion Tyson plays as the boxing match boss Frank here. One day, a reporter came to the tea house to interview every master and even took a group photo. Yeowen and Master Zhang happened to come to pick up their children from school at the same time. Master Zhang said that he would compete with Yeowen one day. Zhang and his men came to the school and asked the principal to sell the school to them because Frank needed the land to develop his business. Yeowen later returned to school, rescued the principal, and notified the police. However, Zhang found someone to blockade the school in the evening. The next morning, neither teachers nor students could go into school. Then, Yeowen asked his disciples to unblock the school. Yeowen and his disciples were still serving as guards in the school. At night, Shang asked someone to come to the school to cause trouble again, pouring gasoline in the school and trying to set it on fire. Yeowen fought to stop him. Shang also arrested the principal. Yeowen immediately went to save the principal when he saw it. He used his special skills to deal with more than a dozen of people by himself, knocking them down with one punch and one kick. At this time, Master Zhang happened to see him passing by, and he also helped to deal with the bad guys. Then, Yeowen's disciples put out all the flames. Master Zhang wants to open a martial arts gym, but he doesn't have enough money. Zhang's master, Master Tian, wants to settle the account with Zhang for the bad things he did to the school before, and Yeowen goes with him. Master Tian and Zhang quarreled, and Zhang stabbed Master Tian with a knife, but Yeowen stopped him in time. Shang summoned everyone in the factory to deal with Yeowen and Master Tian, but fortunately the policeman Fabua came out to stop him. Fabua said that his superior and Frank had mutual interests. It wasn't that he didn't want to help the school, but there was nothing he could do. Yeowen's wife has been feeling unwell lately, and later she was found to have a tumor on her body during a checkup at the hospital. Master Zhang helped Shang do bad things in order to make money. Master Zhang went to Master Tian's shop to cause trouble and broke Master Tian's hand. Later, Zhang led Yeowen to the hospital to see Master Tian, and he secretly went to the school to arrest Yeowen's and Master Zhang's sons. After Yeowen learned about it, he went to the factory alone to look for life and asked him to release the hostages. But Zhang threatened Yeowen and asked him to kowtow and admit his mistake. Then, Master Zhang also came. Because Zhang didn't know, he arrested Master Zhang's son too and immediately released his son. Shang found 11 people to beat Yeowen and did not allow him to fight back, otherwise his son would be hurt. Yeowen has been passively beaten. Later, Master Zhang listened to his son's advice and came back to help save the remaining children. Master Zhang also beat Shang. When Yeowen saw Master Zhang helping, he knew he could finally fight as he pleased. Then, Yeowen knocked down the enemy with punches and kicks. But taking the opportunity, Shang took Yeowen's son away and took him into the factory. Yeowen challenged the enemy with two sticks and chased Shang to the factory. Yeowen's son bit Shang's hand and ran away. Yeowen stood behind her son to help him stop the enemy. Yeowen's son climbed to the highest point and was almost caught by the enemy. Yeowen immediately rushed up to save him, and Master Zhang is fighting the enemy outside. Later, a large number of police arrived and stopped the melee. When Shang ran away, Yeowen flew over with a stick. The police caught all the enemies and asked reporters to take photos and make news. Yeowen took his son home, and his wife was very sad and slapped Yeowen. Yeowen assured his wife that this would never happen again.
The wife finally told Yewen about her illness, and Yewen was shocked. When they arrived at the hospital, they learned that Yewen's wife had terminal uterine cancer and was unable to undergo surgery. She only had half a year left to live. Under pressure from news reports, the police captain came to Frank's boxing gym and demanded that all illegal activities be suspended, otherwise the police chief would be unhappy. Frank was very angry and used Shang as a punching bag to hit him. Frank invited a Muay Thai master to deal with Yewen. The Muay Thai master blocked the elevator and went inside with Yewen. As soon as the door closed, the Muay Thai master immediately attacked Yewen. Yewen protects his wife while challenging his opponent. As soon as he got out of the elevator, Yewen locked his wife inside so that Yewen could fight without any scruples. You punched me, I kicked you, and the two of them started a fierce fight in the stairwell. The Muay Thai master was kicked down the stairs by Yewen, but the wife was in the elevator and was always worried about Yewen. Fabwa told Yewen that although he had already settled the matter last time, he asked Yewen to be careful about Frank. Then, Yewen went to the boxing gym alone to discuss the matter with Frank. He saw Frank's wife and daughter downstairs, while Frank was practicing boxing upstairs. Frank asked Yewen to have a competition with him to see whose fist was faster. Frank said that if Yewen could still stand up in three minutes, he would be let go. Frank's power was so strong that Yewen's attack was deflected. Frank punched the window again and again, and the glass shards almost hurt his daughter. Yewen was not familiar with the opponent's attack patterns and was always at a disadvantage. Frank also gestured to beat him down. Yewen put on the driving position, ready to fight with all his strength. Yewen used a series of fast punches to attack again, but Frank broke through Yewen's defense. Yewen was about to kick Frank in the lower body, but Frank uppercut him. At this time, the time was over, both sides stopped fighting, and Yewen left the boxing gym. This time, Master Zhang finally saved enough money to open a martial arts gym. Master Zhang found a reporter and paid him to write a report, saying that he wanted to challenge Yewen, but the reporter refused. In order to prove his ability, Master Zhang asked reporters to watch him challenge other masters. Master Zhang knocked the opponent down in two strokes. He then challenged other masters and won consecutive battles, making headlines in the newspapers. Then, Master Zhang's martial arts gym officially opened and many reporters came. Master Zhang also told reporters that Kung Fu is inherently about competition and criticized Yewen, saying that Yewen's Yong Chun is not authentic. The public is talking a lot about Master Zhang's challenge to Yewen. Yewen knew that his wife didn't have much time left, so he just wanted to be with her and ignore Master Zhang. Yewen knew that his wife loved dancing, so he went to the dance academy where his wife often went to learn to dance. He happened to meet Bruce Lee, and Bruce Lee said, I'll teach you how to dance if you teach me Kung Fu. The two reached a consensus. On the day of the competition, all Kung Fu masters in Hong Kong were present. Unfortunately, Yewen never showed up and everyone was very anxious. It turned out that Yewen was dancing with his wife. Since the competition time had passed, the conference announced that Master Zhang won without a fight. Master Zhang also insulted Yewen on the spot, which made the crowd very dissatisfied. During the dance, Yewen's wife suddenly fainted and fell to the ground. After that, Yewen's wife could only stay in the hospital to rest. Guys, just give you a head up. The best part is coming now, and please do not forget to give me a like. Thanks. Yewen and his son came to the hospital to visit his wife every day. His wife also secretly wrote a letter of challenge for Yewen and asked her son to give it to Master Zhang. The wife's last wish was to take a family photo. They also went back to the martial arts school to visit and remember the old days. His wife knew that Yewen wanted to accept Master Zhang's challenge and persuaded him to compete. His wife also told Yewen that she had secretly written a challenge letter for him. The wife said she wanted to hear the sound of Yewen driving the wooden stakes again, so Yewen played for her. Then, Yewen took his wife to Master Zhang's martial arts gym to prepare for the competition. This time it was a closed-door competition, no one else knew about it, and the only audience was Yewen's wife. Before the competition, Master Zhang burned incense for his ancestors. This is a Yong Chun versus Yong Chun match. In the first round, Yewen and Master Zhang competed with long wooden sticks. Their sticks are very sharp and banging. At first the two were neck and neck, but then the stick broke, ending the first round. 
Then their sons came to watch. In the second round, the two men competed in sword skills. The two men's knives collided with each other, making a harsh sound. Both of them are very skilled in swordsmanship, and they fight equally well. You attack and I dodge, and I attack and you dodge. It goes back and forth, which is very exciting. In the third round, the two had a fist and kick competition. At first, the two were evenly matched, but later Yeowen kicked Master Zhang away. A fight ensues on the stairs. They kicked each other, and the two flew out of the stairs. Master Zhang inserted his fingers into Yeowen's eyes, and Yeowen could only listen with his ears. Then Master Zhang was hit by Yeowen several times, and fell to his knees. The game was over. Master Zhang admitted that he had lost the game and smashed his own sign. Yeowen told Master Zhang that winning or losing is not important. The most important thing is the family around him. Then Yeowen recalled the past days with his wife. Yeowen's wife died of illness in 1960. Guys, this story still has fourth episode and don't forget to watch.